So recently, not recently, actually literally just now, I was streaming something really cool on Twitch and chat happened to mention a new browser that's available on all platforms that people really seem to love. And I'm gonna check it out and uh, let's just, let's look into it. We're gonna look into the Zen browser. Now, this is really interesting to me because I've noticed some of my favorite creators using different browsers that look really, really cool when actually making videos. And the way they browse around, like with their bookmark bars and the things they can do with the browsers are really nice, but I'm on Linux. So I feel like I've been kind of stuck with Chrome or Firefox, but apparently there's a new sheriff in town, cowboy, and it's called Zen, Zen browser. So let's check out the Zen browser. I'm going to install it. I'm going to run it and I'm going to give my first impressions of it. Is it something that I'm going to daily drive? We'll see. So first we can check this out by going to zenbrowser.app and we see that Zen is the best way to browse the web. Well, I mean, that's subjective, but you know, we'll be the judge of that. And we have a new version called Zen alpha that's currently out. Okay, great. So now the cool thing about Zen is you don't have to just install it from one of these things with Linux. You don't need a flat pack. You don't need to do the app image or whatever. It's already available on the Arch user Linux repository. So I can just install this using my favorite Pac-Man front end, which is yay, of course, or Pac-Man helper, Pac-Man front end, Pac-Man helper, whatever you want to call it. So if I type yay dash S Zen browser, I'm presented with the AUR version of the Zen browser. So I've already installed this. So I don't have to go through this whole thing again, but that's how you can install it on Arch. Linux because of course I use Arch by the way and I want to install things using the proper Arch channels. So we've installed Zen. We're going to check it out. Chat's excited. Everyone's excited. Let's get into this. I'm going to open up a new window pane here and I'm just going to launch Zen and let's just see what we get from our first experience here. There's one use case that I really want to use this for that I'm very interested in, but I'm not sure how well it works and I'm not sure how easy it is to get there. So let's just, let's just get in there. So we've installed Zen and it tells me that it's a fast, beautiful and private browser. Cool. I like that. Let's make ourselves at home. Okay. Let's personalize our color scheme. I'm a big fan of pink. So I'm going to use pink to start and it's going to be a dark theme with pink. Import your data. Pick up where you left off in your last browser. Now for now, I'm going to hold off on that because I just want to get some first impressions. I'm not ready to commit here. You know, I'm playing the field. I don't know if I want to go all the way just quite yet. Okay, Zen. So let's see. I'm just going to hit next and see what we get. Choose a search engine. I see Google, DuckDuckGo, eBay for a search engine and Wikipedia. You know what I don't see here? My favorite search engine and everyone's favorite search engine, Bing. Where's Bing? By the way, I'm kidding. Okay, so let's start with DuckDuckGo because we want to go privacy centric here. Thank you so much with a heart. Your appreciation means the world to us. You know, that just fills me up with love. That fills up my cold dead heart with a little fire, a little spark. Okay, cool. So I just got very confused because in Chrome, I was looking at this exact website on this window pane right here. So it was a little bit, not jarring, but confusing, but okay, that's fine. So now we're in the Zen browser. Let's poke around a little bit here. The very first thing I notice is on the left hand side here, my left, we have a little tab explorer thing. So from here, we can open up a new tab. We can do control T just like any other browser. And you know what already, I actually really love this layout. It's very interesting to me. I, I like the concept of putting all of my tabs on the left hand side of my screen, which is great because every screen these days is either 16 by nine aspect ratio or ultra wide screen or whatever. And you don't really have that much real estate from top to bottom, right? So all modern browsers have at the very top, and I'm sure this is configurable, right? But all modern browsers have their bookmarks and their tabs, everything all at the top of the screen, which kind of takes up this real estate that's already very, very narrow to begin with on most widescreen or 16 by nine monitors. So I like that this is the default layout. I think that's a pretty cool take. And I know this isn't the first browser to do it and I'm sure it's configurable on every other browser, but having it out of the box like this is kind of nice. All right, so now um, our default search engine is DuckDuckGo, which is pretty cool. So let's search for our favorite YouTube content creator right here. And of course, I don't even show up in the top, probably few pages here. So maybe if I do typecraft underscore dev, there we go. Okay, so now this is us. This is typecraft.dev. This is our website. Feel free to sign up by the way. It's only $9.99 a month or $59.99 for the year. You get tons of courses and what? Okay, so now we're at the browser again. We're looking at our website. Everything looks normal. It seems to be rendering fine. Um, from my understanding, this is actually based on Firefox and they actually mentioned that on the Zen browser website. You can see right here, we are constantly tweaking Firefox's engine and settings to make it faster than ever. So this is based on Firefox. I'm assuming this is Firefox's sort of rendering engine under the hood. So whatever anything looks like in Firefox is probably how it's gonna look in the Zen browser. In fact, let me try and open up 
the dev tools here really quick. And yep, this looks exactly like Firefox. Very cool. And you know, it's really nice to kind of have that sort of functionality that's not cross platform, but that it's a, it's a default engine that everyone knows and loves, which is, you know, Firefox is sort of rendering engine under the hood. So this is a nice thing that this browser is based off of Firefox. It gives it same defaults. And to me, I think that's really helpful, right? It, it, it reduces the pain of moving from either Firefox or Chrome to whatever this browser may be, because it's already based on something that I already know, which is Firefox. Okay, so they flaunt um, good performance, which I'm sure is great. We have privacy first, which is awesome. A lot of browsers put this front and foremost in their sort of list of things that they do, which is great. It is secure by default and user experience comes first. And of course, we've actually kind of seen this a little bit, right? It asks you for your theme right away. And I really like this, um, this layout where the left-hand side is all of our tabs, but there is something very specific that I wanted to do here. And that is I want to have two pages side by side. On the left-hand side, I want to have one thing. On the right-hand side, I have another thing, but I don't want this to take up two panes in my window manager. I don't want this to take up any other real estate. I want to just be in my browser. That one tab, I want to have two websites in it. So let's see if we can do that because I think that's a really good use case. All right, quick chat break. What's up? Control Alt V. Okay, cool. Maybe you should, finish, should figure out your fantasy football draft pick. Hey, get pushed, get paid. Come on. I don't even have to look at that. Get pushed, get paid. Um, What's your other name? Get push, get paid. And I've seen this tag. You are someone else though. I know you're in that fantasy football, baby. I'm going to win. You know why I'm going to win? Because I have a very specific strategy for fantasy football. I'm going to draft the hottest dudes at every position and they're always the best players. And that's, that's it. That's my strategy. That's Turk, right? Yeah. Turk. Hell yeah. Turk is in the fantasy football league that I am in with some other people on Twitter. He's going to lose. Everyone's going to lose. I'm drafting the hottest guys at every position. I'm going to win. That's, that's all you gotta know there. That's it. Back to Zen. Okay. So now looking at Zen, we we are talking about how to do the thing that I wanted to do, which is split my panes. And I was told by a good friend of mine, my best friend forever, control alt V. So let's try that one out. So control alt and V. Oh, amazing. How cool is this? Okay. So now I have my two panes side to side in Zen. And this one went to my homepage. This one went to typecraft.dev. I can now see if I go left and right here at the very top, my URL changes because that's the page that I'm looking at right now. So from here, I can probably go to, let's say youtube.com and look up my favorite YouTuber. And Hey, look, I'm live right now. So on this side of the screen, we can see that I'm currently live on YouTube. And on the left side of the screen, we can see typecraft.dev. Now this is kind of amazing and I think I love it. I'm definitely going to give Zen a more of a chance here. What I'm going to do is kind of drive this for a little bit, maybe give a better, more full fledged review, but off the top of the bat, I really like what I'm seeing here. It's based on Firefox. So it's a, it's a known platform to be based off of. Everyone knows Firefox. It's open source. They say that your security and your privacy are of the utmost concern. That's sort of the number one and number two bullet points here. And it just seems like a great platform. I, I really like it. I think it's very interesting interesting and I'm going to try it out for a little while and I think you guys should too so be sure to subscribe and hey thanks nerds